Good morning or good afternoon, dear students. In this session, we will study about karyotypes of human, diploid, and haploid cells. The objectives of this session are to identify diploid and haploid cells, to distinguish between haploid and diploid cells in terms of karyotype, and to write the chromosomal formula of diploid and haploid karyotypes. To introduce our lesson, we are going to start by dividing our body cells into two types, which are diploid and haploid. Diploid cells are those cells which have two sets of chromosomes in their nuclei. Two sets of chromosomes are symbolized by 2N. Examples of diploid cells are our muscle cells, our skin cells, and our nerve cells. Most of our body cells are called diploid. While haploid cells are those cells which have only one set of chromosomes in their nuclei, one set of chromosomes is symbolized by only one N. The only types or the only two types of haploid cells are sperms and ova. Let's start with diploid cells. Diploid cells are, as I mentioned earlier, like our muscle cells, our intestinal cells, our nerve cells and fat cells, and most of our body cells. So they contain all body chromosomes, which are symbolized by 2N, and they have two sets of chromosomes as shown in this karyotype. It means that each chromosome is found in its homologous pair. This homologous pair consists of one chromosome of maternal origin, originating from the mother, and the other one is of paternal origin. So the chromosomal formula of this karyotype will be the total number of chromosomes, which is 46, and XY as sex chromosomes, and apparently this karyotype belongs to a male. Haploid cells, also called gametes, are of two types. A haploid cell can be a sperm cell or an ovum. So sperm cell is the male reproductive cell, and it is produced by the male testicles while ovum is the female reproductive cell and is produced by the female ovaries. So in a human sperm karyotype, this is the symbol of the male, we have half number of chromosomes symbolized by n equals 23. Why n? We say n since there is one set of chromosomes. And 23 is half the number of chromosomes in a human karyotype. Each chromosome exists in one copy of paternal origin only. As you know, sperms are produced by males, so each copy of chromosome or each chromosome will be in one copy originating from the father only. So a human sperm karyotype consists of 22 autosomes and only one gonosome, which can be either X or Y. Here in the slide, we have a human sperm karyotype. You can notice that it consists of 22 autosomes and only one gonosome. And each chromosome exists only in one copy, which is of paternal origin. For a sperm cell, we have two cases, a case where the karyotype consists of 22 autosomes plus X as sex chromosome and another case where we have Y as sex chromosome. Since a male can donate two types of sex chromosomes, which are X and Y. So in case where the gonosome is X, the chromosomal formula will be 22 plus X. 22 is the total number of autosomes, or we can say 23 comma X, where 23 is the total number of all chromosomes, including X. In case of Y as the sex chromosome, 
The chromosomal formula will be 22 as the total number of autosomes plus Y or 23, Y. Now let's move to human ovum karyotype. The symbol on the right is the symbol of the female. As in sperm's karyotype, human ovum karyotype consists of half number of chromosomes symbolized by N equals 23. Each chromosome also exists in one copy, but this copy is of maternal origin since ova, which is plural of ovum, are produced by females only. So, ovum karyotype consists of 22 autosomes, but the difference between ovum karyotype and sperm karyotype is that the gonosome will be only X, since the female can donate only one type of sex chromosome, which is X. So a human ovum karyotype consists of 22 autosomes and only one sex chromosome, which is X. The chromosomal formula is the same for, for all ova and is 22 plus X or 23, X. Thanks a lot for your attention and as usual, if you have any question, please contact me and please stay safe.